in relation to the ADA specifically, but one that was brought up was the proposed ban on bow hunting in South Australia, which the the ADA is you know obviously involved in hunting and is intent on fighting the ban. So they're doing their little bit to fight it, basically. Um, so we discussed as a, as a wider group while we were there, members on the floor, some strategies that, and um, there were some good points raised in how it can be fought. If I can sign the petition and get that back, which we brought up in our last episode. So make sure if you haven't done that, get on and, and do that. A really good idea I thought that was raised from the floor was actually approaching some of the bow hunting companies or especially, or yeah, especially in the States yeah. because, you know, they've probably seen some of these cases before and once you start getting corporate entities involved and it's starting to affect their livelihood in terms of sales of bows into our state or our country, um, then they're going to start going, well, fuck. And I think one of the most important points that was raised in that, all right, this is a... This is targeting bow hunting in the short term. But then once they've targeted bow hunting, if everyone just rolls over and lets this happen, then it's going to move on to the next thing, which is probably going to be hunting with a rifle. Well, probably duck hunting. Probably or duck or dog, dog hunting or something yeah. like that. Um, Either way, we want to stop the rot now and stop the progression. And well, we certainly don't want it to be an easy thing to get it banned in, in SA. We want to fight it. So this ban's coming from the uh, Deputy Premier and Minister for Environment, Susan Close. Um, she was stating that it was a, an agreement made for the election of her campaign. It's an election promise. Yeah. And um, there was an article posted today actually stating that when she was pushed about it, she was confirmed that the banning of bow hunting is not in the 2022 policy for their agreement. And it was more of a behind the doors sort of handshake agreement with Animal Justice Party. It just makes you wonder, one, they're going to make behind deals there. What else are they making? Yeah. The the disturbing thing that came up, there are duck hunters in the Labor Party that support the bill. Pun not intended. <laughs> <laughs> Admittedly, they're probably doing that to try and keep themselves in the clear of all this fucking bullshit. But. Well, they pro- more but, than likely, they're like, we won't come after duck hunting. But you can't make a, a deal with a hand devil. thing. You can't. And this is where hunters need to band together, uh, no matter what form of hunting you do, or even outdoor sort of activities that you do. You need to band together because they'll come for everything. 